I actually failed algebra, failed geometry, and made a D in calculus. And people are shocked. They say, you became a rocket scientist? And the answer is yes. Five, four, I successfully three, helped launch Discovery, two, Endeavor, one, Columbia, zero, and Atlantis missions. I am Olympia LaPointe. I graduated from Cal State Northridge with my bachelor's degree in mathematics in 1998, and I graduated in 2005 with my master's degree also in mathematics. Right now I have built a math education company and I have just finished my first book, Mathophobia, how you can overcome your math fears and become a rocket scientist. And through that, my goal is to help not only my students that I teach, but help students across the nation learn to embrace math and science fields. I was six years old, and we took a field trip to Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And there I saw the mission control room, and I thought to myself, I want to be just like those men launching rockets. When I went to school, I didn't always do well in mathematics. I didn't let failure stop me, and I realized where I was making my mistakes. I became a math tutor my first semester at Cal State Northridge, and through that, I would sit with the students and reread the book with them, and through that process, I became much stronger at mathematics. So after I graduated with my bachelor's degree, I checked and I found out that I was eligible for the new graduate program. That meant that corporations liked new graduates and so I talked to my mentors to find out the different options I had. I contacted them, sent uh, reference letters and resumes to the corporate college recruiters and therefore I was able to gain my position at the Boeing Company and I worked there as a rocket scientist for nearly 10 years. I would recommend getting not only a bachelor's degree, but a master's degree as well. For me, I was able to use those skills and transfer them over to the projects that I was working with. For the Boeing Company, I used mathematics and science to calculate the probability of catastrophic explosion within the space shuttle's flight. I used mathematics to help design the space shuttle main engine as well as launch it. And through that process, I learned the ability to manage projects. And with additional responsibility, I was given the opportunity to present to NASA to authorize the space flight. It took a level. It took steps and steps and steps and steps to finally get to the point of leadership where not only I could help on a massive scale within the engineering design and launch, but later so I could branch off and build my own company with those same sets of skills. Most people think that when they go into math or science careers, the only thing you can do is teach at a university. Wrong! You can go into aerospace, medical fields, work for the lottery system, and you work for casinos. You can use math and science even in taxes. There's so many areas to apply mathematics that people usually don't necessarily think about that for individuals upon graduation. Learn to become a beginner again. It is okay to be a beginner. Just like you started Cal State Northridge and you didn't know the teachers, you didn't know the campus, you didn't know where to go. That's gonna be the same feeling in what you're gonna feel when you graduate. But it's okay because just like you learn to succeed and graduate from Cal State Northridge, you will succeed in anything else that you set your mind to.